Peter is a very experienced and distinguished private equity investor. Singapore, he has invested uh, more than uh, 150, uh, 100, 100 firms. Uh, he said a bit funny about valuation in theory to talk about the real, the, uh, behind the trenches, the battle scars of valuation. Okay, so, okay, Peter, over to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, good evening. Um, it's been quite some time I left the classroom, so tonight it's quite interesting to come back here. So I think when I uh, go ahead with this uh, presentation, uh, if possible, we do it on a very interactive basis. And if you have any questions, comments, or criticisms, just just shoot, okay? And what I'm going to focus on is not on quantitative, because I think quantitative, for instance, you talk about this one, right? I think it's all in the textual, you know? Uh, okay, so I, I, I want to put it there, please. Questions or if I'm not clear, right? Just, uh, just uh, discuss. Um, okay, we are talking here about valuation model for the purposes of. Uh, okay, from my angle, I don't know. In other, my, I, I'm presenting from quite narrow okay, in angle. I'm, I'm, I'm from private equity, right? So I'm doing valuation from a private equity uh, approach, right? So we look at companies. We look at this is what we call pricing. How do you price a company, right? I mean, you look at bottle water, you know, by how much it is. You look at a company, how do you price it? And buying and selling companies, yeah, that's that's our business, right? Um, the I think first of all, before even going into talking about the quantitative approach or models, the uh, we have to let's say map the universe. Huh? If you look at the public market, let's say you look at NASDAQ or NYSE or Singapore Exchange, then look at companies like your Boeing, your Coca-Cola, your Microsoft, DBS uh, Bank. Now, doing valuation for that group of companies is different from what we are going to talk about here. Because those are, uh, those are companies which are being traded in pretty efficient capital markets already. So number one, uh, they have um, relatively transparent uh, profit and loss ac accounts, right? And they are, because of the rules of the stock exchange, they provide the public with relevant material information on a timely basis. And thirdly, there is actually a market where buy price and sell price are tracked and matched and transactions take place. So, Pricing those kinds of stuff, uh, actually to us is peanuts. Uh. The tough part about my kind of business is that when you see a private company owned by maybe one entrepreneur in the middle of, uh, let's say, Surabaya, you know, running a palm oil plantation, now how do you value him? You see? That, that's the trick. Now, okay, going back to quantitative methods, uh, these are common, right? I mean, you do. DCF, you do price and ratios and all that. Um, uh, again, I would caution this. In a classroom, probably you can learn a lot of quantitative methods. Uh, but you also have this uh, uh, universal rule of uh, GIGO, garbage in, garbage out, right? So if you have your quantitative methods, you go to this guy in Surabaya and you fit in his accounting or financial information, guess what you get, right? <laughs> so, uh, this is good as, I mean, I think in school you learn this as a good tool, right? But when you go out, uh, the problem is that you're not going to get hard data. A lot of times you're going to get grey or in fact, just fraudulent data sometimes. So the question is that, how do you then react? I mean, that's why when we train analysts in our job, uh, I always tell them that uh, the nose is more important.